So right here in front of me, we hopefully have everything to set up mini like TV into my setup slash bed slash room. So it's really pretty cool. Usually if I want to watch something on my bed or like on my game something, I usually just flip this screen and then play it like this or play the game like this. And that's kind of annoying so we got a little bit of sour got a $100 PC that I built quite a while ago it's missing a GPU but we'll get to that later then we got two like speakers one left and right it should be pretty cool and they're, they are pretty cool good then we got the screen it's a Samsung screen I don't have a TV unfortunately and this is like I think this one connects to a Bluetooth or something like that. I don't know how to even connect this to my PC, but we'll find out. So here we're now going to install another 500 gig hard drive for all the games and stuff like that. And then we're going to be using this one as my main. I don't have an SSD and this one I think has 8 gigabytes of RAM and an RTX, no, and an RX 560 and an old i5, I think. So there was a bit of a problem with the PC. We cannot use a PC because I don't have Ethernet here. So I'm just gonna use the laptop that is under here and hopefully this will work out great. So first we have to find a operating system that will be running on that PC and that might be harder than I thought. So first I thought Linux, cause Linux has a lot of cool operating systems. And then I tried to install one and this is how that turned out. I will try to download on my USB drive and flash it onto my PC. I probably watched this tutorial. I seen this guy before and this guy is pretty cool. So I literally tried to install a media operating system and that one just did not want to install on my PC. Then I tried to install the Pop OS, which I used before and that one absolutely did not want to install. And I was basically just wanting to give up so it's now two days later and this thing does not work it doesn't want to install anything on it so we're going to back to original plan and this is this PC I have a fix for the Ethernet so this is for the Ethernet you basically plug one in and then you can have like four more so this should be pretty useful. Now the internet is here. Now I just need to set up this PC, the monitor, and then we should be pretty much ready. So now we're setting up everything. First I have to move the bed, the whole setup backwards so we can fit this box that will be holding pretty much everything. That was a pretty simple process, just moving everything. Then we cleaned the speakers because they were pretty dirty, so I think this is a pretty important step i had to screw them on on the speakers that was uh, that's probably not, not the best idea then we are connecting all the cables the cables i did connect them the best way possible i guess i tried to do it the best and then we have the monitor of course pretty important and then we just clean up all the space get the box on get the pc ready connect everything and we are done so the final operating system that i used was of course windows and that is probably the best way to do it now there's a lot of games that work there's a lot of options there's a lot of fixes so i choose to stick with windows so with this old PCs there's a lot of problems when it comes to installing stuff, operating systems, so it took me around 10 minutes to set windows up. The problem was that I had connected two hard drives and on the motherboard both of them were on the blue and one of them should be on blue and one of them should be on white so that works. Now everything should work. When we are working with windows there's quite a bit we have to set up so first I make sure that I cleaned up everything, everything that wasn't important so the PC can be as fast as possible and that was pretty simple, I have a video on it, it's a pretty old video. So how I'm gonna run everything, I will be running Steam Big Picture mode which is pretty cool, you just need to set it up, It's it takes like 3 minutes so this is how we do it. So here's how I'm gonna make, so the Steam 
is opened when you start your PC. First, make sure to disable everything on startup. Then go to Steam settings, find interface. Make sure that you run Steam when your computer starts and start Steam in big picture mode. Enable that. And here's how it's gonna look like when you start your PC. So if you wanna watch YouTube, you just click here, go to friends and chat, find somebody to send you a link to a YouTube and then just click here. And it should open up in Steam. You can use your like joystick as a mouse. If you wanna search something, you can just click here and it opens up the keyboard. That's pretty cool and it works in basically any website. So we finally did something and now everything should be working. We got the two speakers, this, the bigger ones, did not work. They didn't want to connect with Bluetooth. It always came up with an error. I watched like three videos how to fix that. It all didn't work. But so now we are stuck with this. But these guys, they're, they're pretty good. They're not the best, but they should be pretty good for this setup. And then we remove it. I moved the PC from like from under here all the way to back here so it, it sits pretty nicely and you mostly cannot see it from here. So yeah, it's pretty cool. So this was it for this video and make sure to watch this one next and don't forget to go in my discord and join it.